everybody nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for kingdom chapter 701 so before i get into this recap and live reaction let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and i'm just on a non-stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos and it is getting faster by the second if you love what i'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin feel free to hit up my cash app and paypal those links are in the description box below also if you guys were watching my oricon ranking videos you would know that this past week volume 63 of kingdom came out and in three days sold over 346 thousand copies i'm telling you this has it out for this fucking manga i don't know why i don't know what the hell kingdom did to viz but whatever we need to put the pressure on them i swear i swear somehow some way someday we will get this manga localized here in the states if it is not by viz it will be by yen press or seven seas somehow we will do it but <laughs> I can't be the only one campaigning for this, though. Anyways, last chapter of Kingdom, we had a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart between Shin and, um, and Sei. So Sei and Shin were having their combo about what's to come. We have a couple more before we hit the capital. Vows, that is. And... Say did realize that, he, he did say it to shit. He's like, dude, yeah, no, Conky is a necessary evil. <laughs> Anyways, cat, put your butt down, damn it. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Woo, what? After two long years of passiveness, the bell tolls for the genius tactician's return. Oh, <gasps> tactician's return to oh my god are you telling me right now that roboku is coming back this week we knew some shit was going down at the end of the last chapter we saw some shit was going down but and i said that that the shit that conky did was gonna be beneficial for them because it was gonna because remember what conky said he said that the blame was gonna be on say but you also gotta look at the other side of things and the people already hate the current emperor of Zao, so <laughs> anyways, let's go. This chapter is titled, The Great General's Return. Yes. Ready, Keys? The royal capital of Zao, Cantan. Um, what? You, my son, you as father. Um, let me throw a shoe. Mom, over there. Um, is... Is my son safe? Look for his name yourself. The names of those who died in, um, to the kin are there. These are the victims uh, belonging to the second division. What about the first division? Um, then head to the first desk. Uh, my, my son died fighting in, um, in the front. Show is... No, he didn't die fighting. They were all slaughtered by Conky even after dropping their weapons. What? It's the truth. They didn't leave a single prisoner alive. Where was that after they beheaded over tens of thousands of unarmed men, they burned the remains? <gasps> what? <laughs> How terrible! Oh my God! We are um reliving Chue. Ooh! Curse the kin! Never! I'll never forgive them. Wrong! Enlisting in the next battle. I'll kill every single one of those kin soldiers. I'll chop them up limb by limb until they fucking die. Death to all kin soldiers. I'll flay Conky alive. Well, Kakukai, that's good for you. Does that mean you got some people that want to fight and that takes a lot of uh, flack off of you? I'm surprised that motherfuckers aren't turning the focus on you. They should be. That anger should be focused on you, my dude, because you're the one that led them to the slaughter. <sighs> what are your commands, my lord? Having defeated Ko Chow, um, the kin forces are on their way to Bujo and uh, Hayo in one fell swoop. If they were to capture those uh, two bastions, the kin army will be at Kantan's doorstep. Oh my. And speaking of, by the way, before I forget... Go, if you are not reading Record of Rag Ragnarok right now, you should, because the Ken Emperor is fighting up against Hades right now. 
That is right. Go read it. You will love it. Anyways, there's no need to fret. Despite Coach House's undoing, the, ro the royal capital and its uh, Denzians provide more than sufficient military might. We have gathered um, that Conky's brutalities have ignited the fires of hostilities in not only the soldiers, but also the civilians within our walls. In the same vein, Hiao and uh, Buju are uh, in a state of change as well. They will not reach Canton easily. Our true worry should be uh, the wealthy merchants who are aiming to flee Canton with their capital. See, Conky knows what he's doing. I'm telling you, Conky knows what he's doing. By per uh, what? By permitting their leave, the populace will do the same, and the city will be deserted by the time the kin arrive. Motherfucker thinking about the bigger picture. We must swiftly close- Him and Osin are thinking- I think him, Osin, and Say are thinking of the bigger picture. I think they are. They all gotta be. Um, well, especially Osin and Conky. I may be over- Tell me if I'm overestimating them. I want to know. Wait a moment. Um, on this matter, Lord Con um, Conso, I've been informed that you yourself are planning on leaving Canton. Oh, he's gonna leave too, bitch! Come again? That goes without saying. The people within these quarters aren't of uh, the likes of those um, uh, frivolous peons. Of course we will stand our ground. But when the situation looks awry, we must retreat um, and escort his majesty to absolute safety. We must live on, us the heart of this country. Oh, indeed, well spoken, yes. God damn it, this is making me think of Variety the Patriot, which I'm starting to read now. Damn it, enough with indulging in your trifles. Um, even if you were to preserve your necks, your positions and authority will vanish, leaving you with nothing but a paltry life. Yeah, if there's nothing left of Zhao, what makes you think you're, there's going to be anything left for you? You fucks are screwed. Of course not. Um, no one could fathom such a thing. Let us turn the tides against the camp with your um, spirited soldiers. As you say, the number of troops isn't the issues. Now that Coach Hao is dead, does um, Canton even have someone who can uh, take up the mantle of Commander-in-Chief? I suggest the valiant General um, Chaokotsu. No, it's far too soon to deploy him. If we were to lose uh, Chaokotsu, uh, then we'd be... Oh. So there is truly no other man other than him? Ah, oh. oh, yeah. Reporting in, a dispatcher returned from the state of Chu. From Chu? Yes, from Chu. Coming from that person in Chu. That person in Chu? And just who is that person? He couldn't be. Yee! <laughs> yeah, me want Chu! Royal Capital A. Oh, S Sir Rampa, my name is Ensei. Our last reunion dates far back. The only, the, this one is deeply in your debt for what you have done back then. Oh, Ensei, huh? You're Enta's kid, aren't you? Nah, how surprising that you're now uh, Cantan's envoy. Yes, I am the son of Enka. I am so uh, grateful and elated for being in your presence again, Sir Rampa. Seeing you so healthy and well, too. Nah, your elation is that so um is so that you're drooling from your nose and say son of Enta pretty gross. <laughs> yes, uh, um, <laughs> yes, uh, son of Enka, uh, Sir um, Kash Sir Kashibo and Sir Kyoen no uh no less. It brings me solace to see you all in perfect health. More than perfect health. This very morning we traveled uh, to the border of Wei and decimated them for the Chu. Noah, right? Yes, we pulverized them. The historical records say that even after his exile, Rempa regularly mounted onto battlefields despite his old age. Damn! And these mofos are saying that old people that that um that these old people are just doomed to die. Like, stop, 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 stop. Respect your elders, people. Respect them. I know I'm old, but I'm not. I'm not that old. Jesus Christ. Um. As expected from someone of your uh, of your caliber. That being said, um, Sir Rempa, please excuse my directness. I bring news from Cantan. Whether it is factual or not, I am uncertain. Oh, well, I've heard Coach I was defeated and the prisoners were executed. I'm also aware that the Kin army is already at uh, Hayo's doorsteps. In the eyes of the surrounding state, Zhao is hanging on to um, a single thread. Right. Well then, young Ensei. 
This Rampa will return to Zao and cleave that cocky's green-hearted twine, his lackeys included. I might as well save Zao while I'm at it. Chills, I'm gonna get a Rampa versus Ka Oh my god, this is gonna be so epic! Yes, sir! I shall make haste and return to con uh, convey your intentions. Wow, well, why don't you have your fill before leaving, Ensei? Oh, and this is how much I eat regular- <laughs> That's how much he eats regularly? Damn! Eh? Don't even leave a single crumb, you hear? Eh? Rampa would entrust his intent to the messenger who uh, would soon depart for Zhao. The details of their festive encounter would uh, pay nothing but great help. These exact details would be transcribed within the historical records. R Rampa? The great General Rampa is returning, you say? The, the incredible! The great General Rampa! Um, Lord Rampa, one of the uh, old three great heavens of Zhao! This is gonna be so amazing! He's returning! What a godsend! Dude, I feel kind of troll because I thought we were talking about Reboku, right, Keith? I thought we were gonna get Reboku! Um, anyways. What a godsend! With his able, surely regain, uh, regain footing. Will everything truly go as planned, uh, Lord Conso? Have you already forgotten the reasons behind General Rampa's departure? Stripped of his title and then exiled to the state of Wei, his remarks on the previous monarch king, uh, Tojo, earn him all that. And the depravity he voiced our current crown easily puts his uh, predecessor to shame. Well, it's a true, though! The truth hurts! So, the current emperor is an asshole! Um, do you earnestly believe that? Re I'm telling you, you motherfuckers should be thanking your lucky stars that Karagi created a distraction. So you earnestly believe that Rimpa will remain still after learning about the state of the royal court? Okay. Dude, if Rimpa teams up with Roboku, I would not be surprised. That man could never remain still. Even when Shoujo, a lord in the past, was a ruthless man who would voice his discontent with him using physical strength. If that man truly re uh, returns, the slightest mistake from our part would result in death, and it will not be negotiable. Oh, how horrifying. Yeah, I could see this. Pretty exaggerated claims, though I doubt that Minister Kakukai will um, will get through this unscathed. Yeah, he, nah, he's going down. M Minister Kakukai, what should we do? Mr. Kakukai, your lordship! Ooh, according to the records of the gra uh, Grand Historian, Kakukai altered the details from the envoy's encounter with Rampa. He would twist the words into the following. Rampa, despite his old age, could still finish his meals. However, on each of the three occasions he sat down, he would simply display without fail symptoms of incontinence. Afterwards, the king's disgust towards Rampa's incapacity to serve would be publicly, uh, publicly divulged. Um, through this tampered report forged by Kakukai, Rempa never set foot on Zal for the remainder of his days. Are you fucking serious? You're gonna save your own ass? Do what? General Rempa, uh, Rempa's return has been denied? But how can this be? Why? Why, why would His Majesty um, make such an absurd decision? Why is it? I beg of you, please reconsider. Seriously, Rampa just go with... Rampa should just go ally with Roboco and take this asshole out. Um, please allow me to, um, an audience with his majesty. I refuse to let this go. I, Ensei, will gladly lay down my life to counsel his, his highness. Please reconsider. Very well. Only because it's you, it is you, Ensei. I will try to speak, um, before his majesty again. You may rest your mind. I see. Dis oh no, dispose of this man, Kanso, as you wish. So, who will replace Ko Chow? As much as it brings my blood to a seething boil, we have no other recourse other than that man. And so a horse was dispatched from Kantan to Seika, and at long last, after two long years, it was the rebirth of the three great heavens of Zhao, Roboku. Following Ko Chow's defeat, Roboku's, Roboku's resurgence would fill in the gap and safeguard Hayo in its entirety. Then a year after, Roboku of the <gasps> yeah! Roboku of the Three Great Heavens and Conky of the Six Great Generals would come face to face before the curtains of a perilous war of life and death. This is going to be fucking epic! Oh my god, this is what I've been wanting. I've been wanting this rematch. We are in for an epic rematch. Holy shit! 
Dude! Oh, you thought Kingdom Volume 63 was gonna sell off the fucking <laughs> shelves? Oh! Dude, this is gonna be an epic year for Kingdom! Holy shit! Kingdom is gonna be lit! Biz, I do not understand you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kingdom's gonna be lit! Oh my god! Kingdom's gonna be fucking lit! We are getting the rematch of the fucking century right here! Dude, I am telling you, when this rematch starts, this is gonna be the match, this is gonna be the rematch of fucking 2022. Oh god damn straight! I am calling that now! And I cover a lot of goddamn manga, and yes, there is there is a quite a few series that um, are having uh, quite a few epic matches. But oh, it is gonna oh, it's got nothing on this. Oh hell no, it has got nothing on this epicness. Oh my god, I am so ready for this. Oh my god, this is gonna be the most epic rematch ever. Holy shit, like. The fact that you're not going to have... That this is going to be Roboku versus Conky. And not Roboku versus Osin. This motherfucker, Conky? Look at that smile at the, uh, in this final panel. This is what Conky wanted. Conky wanted this. He wanted this. I'm calling this out. Conky wanted this shit. He did this so that way, because remember, remember what I said a while ago, that Conky wanted all the attention on him so that Osin could do what he needed to do. And that included getting Roboku focused on him. Dude, Conky, you sneaky bitch. You knew that Roboku was going to come. I'm telling you. Conky is playing 40 chess while these motherfuckers are playing checkers. I am not, I am not overestimating Conky on this. No way. I am not overestimating Conky. I think, oh, I wonder if Osin realized this, this though. I do. I have to wonder if Osin would have realized this. I have to wonder if Say would have realized this. And that's why he didn't, um, and maybe that's why Say didn't do, um, didn't, uh, uh, behead Conky. I wonder if that is part of the reason why. Because he realized he got the full picture of what Conky was doing. But damn, Osin has to know what, what, why Conky did what he did. Osin owes you, man. Osin owes you, Conky. Holy shit. Because you got Revoku off Osin's ass. Osin could go, like, straight and focus onto the mission. You got all the mer- Because of this brutality, you got all the merchants out of Cantan. And you got, um... You got Roboku back in back in play. You guys go take... And Conky could focus on, um... Roboku could be all focused on Conky while other motherfuckers could be focused on Osin. Because if, let's be real, if Osin would have had to deal with Roboku, oh, it would have been a pain in the ass. But this too? <laughs> oh my god, this is so amazing! <laughs> Dude, I'm so sad though. I am sad. I am kind of sad. Um for um for Rempa. I really am. I I really would love Rempa to just team up with Roboku and take down this bitch. I really do. I part of me really wants that to happen, but it doesn't seem like it will. Rempa, you should get your you should have your say and just go in there and just whoop some ass. Cause Rempa, you deserve it. You deserve it. And that's why these motherfuckers turn to turn to Roboku because they knew that Rempa would have murdered them. Oh, and let's be real. Let's be fucking real. Roboku's gonna... They know Roboku's gonna murder them, too. But this is the lesser of the two evils situation. Anyways, very curious what you guys think. I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked! Ah, this is gonna... I want to know. Do you guys think this is gonna be the battle of 2022? Like, the best battle of 2022? Uh, this might be. I will say, though, depending on how... Um, oh, man. You know what? Ooh. 
I might have to say this is going to be one of the best battles of 2022 because I'm just remembering what's going down in One Punch Man and what's going down in Record of Ragnarok. Oh, man. It's definitely... Oh, God. Dude. Damn it. But... Thank God this fight didn't start when the Broda... Um, uh, Zerafuku shit was going down. Would you be fucked? <laughs> you waited for a good time, Hara, for this. Your timing is good. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this cha uh, channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more Kingdom content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.